Hi guys, just a quick review on these LED daytime ring lights that I purchased off eBay. Um, so far they look very good. Um, basically when you switch them, basically they come on automatically through the day and then when you switch lights on they go off. These were cheap, these were £3.99 off eBay. Um, I have no idea as to how reliable they're going to be. Uh, probably sell, probably got myself into a whole heap of trouble long term, but um, we'll see. The only thing that I was disappointed with this needs a module controller. Um, I couldn't get these working actually, as they are. Hence, that's probably why they were three ninety nine. Um, I had to buy a controller, and the controller was a tenner. So I bought the controller from another eBay um, seller. Um, so I've got this three ninety nine, and then a controller. 10 quid so it's cost me 13.99 for day um, DRLs and actually I've just realized actually this is just an upgrade kit oh oh probably answered my own question then anyway okay I've got them running so these are 3.99 and obviously I've got a controller unit which I'll show you in the next videos um, hopefully they'll last a long time and they won't burn out after a week apparently they last for I think it's 30,000 hours. Um, we'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoy me uh, trying to um, install them. <laughs> Fantastic. So this is DRLs. Just screwed on with a large bolt that goes through these vents nice and easily. So when the side lights are turned on, so when the side lights are turned on, the DRLs should now be off. So side lights are on, DRLs are switched off when the full lights are on yeah full lights are on the DRL stay off and again when we turn everything off so everything's now off the DRLs kick in okay so a very quick guide on installation each DRL, DRL has a positive and a negative wire right positive negative positive negative so I have a crude installation here guys so I have a module here this looks complicated but it really isn't from the module Positive, negative, right? Positive, fused out, negative. Okay, that runs to the DRL controller. Then I have from that, connects, yeah? Connects. So, positive, negative, controller. Positive, negative, positive, negative. And then a wire that runs to my side lights. So this then works in conjunction with the controller to say, when I turn these on, turn them off. Okay, so positive negative, fused to the controller, positive negative, positive negative, wire into the light that says onto the positive connection of this light, the positive connection. So when I switch this on, it says to this controller here, turn off the DRLs. At first when I did it, the DRLs flickered like they were like a strobe light and that was because I hadn't earthed it properly. In the end I just decided to earth it direct to the battery. So this is a really mega crude installation. So what I'm going to do now is tidy all these wires up and um, make sure that when you connect your wires that come down from the DRL and come up, they don't touch anything 
that's hot, not hot. Because obviously the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fry your wires. So I've got my DRLs in with a nut at the back and the wire runs down through some grommets and comes up and comes up through here. So keep things away from the hot things, okay? So it's a really simple installation. I think the hardest thing for most people will be finding a location to locate the DRLs. I'm quite fortunate because I've got a real nice big holy grill. 